More than 15,000 people have been tested for the coronavirus by workers at a local urgent care business in the area. But local leaders say more testing is needed. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has that story. As we see fewer new cases of COVID-19 being reported, some health experts worry the public may be getting comfortable, thinking the problems are all behind us. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Coronavirus is still a very big problem. For that reason, directors with the QuickMed Urgent Care Centers and 10 Healthcare are now teaming up with leaders in the city of Youngstown to offer another round of testing next week. The most vulnerable are those in the city of Youngstown, uh, African Americans, minorities. We wanted to make sure that we removed all barriers from them actually coming and getting a test. The clinic will be held outside the Cavelli Center downtown next Wednesday and Thursday. Only this time, arrangements have been made for walk-up service for those living downtown and free transportation for those who don't. So there are people that don't live downtown. So what do they do? Well, they're able. We're working with WRTA. Well, they'll be able to call them and be able to get them down here that day. As with previous drive through clinics, those being tested will have to pre-register, which will be available starting tomorrow. But with test kits more readily available now, some of the limitations have been lifted. And we're going to be testing anyone who has any symptoms that may, um, uh, that may be upper respiratory related and or COVID related or any exposure to COVID. While testing should be covered by insurance, organizers will offer testing for free for those without coverage. This morning, Mahoning County Commissioners donated $5,000 to help underwrite those costs. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.